What is up guys here with a new video as you know some items have been nerfed some items have been buffed and for this patch I gave a new shot on a new Grizz build so as far as runes go you can go fleet obviously bloodline got nerfed early game I mean it's always gotten nerfed early game and it's a scaling you know rune so I've been going alacrity last stand to be able to frontline better and now interestingly enough Ravens Hunter is actually quite viable on Grizz now because he made it Omni vamp so Eyeball Omni or Eyeball Ravenous can go sudden impact as well for better early game by going for the scaling component. Attack speed, adaptive HP if you're against heavy AP can go MR. Yeah, add some heavy magic damage, but I like going for the scaling. And in fact, once you're level 9, HP runes outweigh armor and NMR. So, yeah, this game starts out. It's a 20 minute game. I'm going to skip forward to the important parts. And you'll see this game looked really hard. But once I got my two core, which the two item core you'll see, this game are shield bow and two PD. There's some insane synergy from both items once they're combined, and you'll see. I actually learned something new today. PD actually stacks off your camps as well, not only like champions. So really good to stack your E, good synergy with the shield bow as we went over earlier. And they both give like similar stat lines, 20% crit, attack speed, and then other, you know, the other unique passives from shield bow get amplified by your fan advancer the only issue is once you have those two items i'm not really sure what third component i've been thinking like cleaver against like you know tanks if you need more hp maw if you need um the magic damage shield and just their axe so like the three components i've gone over if you're really ahead maybe you can just go for ie but i feel like you need some survivability with this build you had the shield to get the, the life steal the domni vamp i guess but it's nothing there's counters to every build, right? Like this build, you're gonna have, you're gonna have pretty much your eight armor stacks every fight if you can start off objectives and such. Now you'll see, you'll see. Once again, my items here get really unlucky. Jax E just lets him survive. If I ignite here, 32 damage, he lives with like 10 HP. I haven't chased it. I guess I burn his ward and get the crook. So here I actually opt to go for his red side camps. It's another back up, and I know he clear top to bot. So this is something most junglers wouldn't do, obviously this isn't like a VOD replay analysis, but just to make sure you guys don't fall behind. If enemy jungler you know is taking your red side camps, you can do the exact same. I actually ended up profiting from this because their mid laner did not ward. Their uh, raptors and they had two wards up here, so I actually got an extra camp off this even though I shouldn't have. Their jungler, their jungler should have their war or their camps warded in this situation when second rotation camps spawn. It's more like a higher elo thing, but you know, when people are auto filled, they're just getting pressure. Jax can't really ward, he has to use his wards defensively, and this guy's not really warded. I don't know why, but you know. So, once you have shield bow combined with ravenous and PD, you'll see some crazy sustain. But yeah, so far, our top laner that picked Wukong at the Jax, I actually asked him why he picked this match, and he said, I'm trying to learn. To play counter matchups to play from behind. Also, I put Graves into Jack's call, which is like pretty bad for Graves, but if you, with this build, you can actually survive a lot better. You have Red Smite, reduce damage, you've got the exhaust. You don't have to go exhaust, you can go ignite as well, but if you want to survive as long as possible, exhaust helps you. I think we here we force a fight, I guess, and slow down here. I got really unlucky here again. I think call is 1 HP. I think Leona dies. Yeah, the creep blocked my auto exhausted incorrectly. This ends up being a pretty bad fight here too. I couldn't really help because you know Jax counters gears pretty hard. He's got Conqueror stack, I'm just gonna heal him. I have to wait for Wukong to get in here. Auto over the wall if I can. I think I kill him here. Yeah, we kill him. And Kai's is here. I should have honestly just ran. I panicked and W. This is my first game. Would I even W on it? No. But yeah, it looks pretty bad at this point. Like, we're down 1k gold. The jungle has 0 KP, you'll see. Like, most of this game, he has no KP. So I'm just gonna skip forward. I'm like, I don't want the video to be like you know, 20 minutes long. I'm make it like an 8 minute video. And yeah, once you have this component as well, Noon Quiver, you actually clear your camps a lot faster. It's like having the machete component. And it feels really good. The stats are not bad for, you know, 1300 gold. I take his blue, they engage in my bot lane. I think here I get really unlucky as well. So I did have 8 stacks when I started Dragon. Unfortunately, Kaiza is a mixed damage ADC, even though she has like Dirk and stuff. Her passive's magic, her, her W's magic, etc. I mean, I've got 100 armor. I don't have 200 armor yet, so... 
A bit unfortunate. Kaiser gets more kills. I shouldn't even go for these plays. Like they have Core JJ Tomo. Both are pretty solid players. <laughs> you can see all chat. I'm pretty pissed off right now because I have 100% KP. He's got zero and they're up 2k gold. He hasn't done anything the whole game. So I'm pretty triggered, but you'll see. Eventually, I'll have the last laugh. I got a free kill here on Jax. Massive shutdown. Turn my jungle. So even though this guy's in ganked a single lane, he's down a lot of camps because you know I can clear a lot faster than him with the with the quiver thing. And I don't even know what evolution he went. Looks like R or something. So we got Immortal Shield, but I went HP early because I wanted to stack mage with the in the runes. You don't have to do this. You can go like daggers and start building your PD or like your merge treasure or tap or whatever you need more. Here we fight a 3v3. Unfortunately, their mid laner comes here first, and I'm not tanking for my team because it's Ash got engaged on. But luckily, I think they overstay and I bait them. I only have two stacks here, but I know Leona's on the war about to go for me, so I bait this in. I don't even know why they went for this. I should have even eat in, honestly, even though we're outnumbered, but I wanted to play it slow. That's first shot down to Victor. Victor ends up being a pretty big threat this game off my front lining. Gets two kills for free there. And here we actually get him the 700 gold shutdown. Lulu tanks it perfectly, I let him last hit the kill. And Victor just went from 0-1 to 3-1. And, and we're basically seeing gold though. So I'm just pinging dragons because I know dragons are... Probably our win con this game. This unfortunately I had a really awkward shop. I was like a few 50, like 50 gold off a zeal, but I knew I had to be there for dragon. Somehow Victor gets the kill on Kha'Zix, we kill their bot lane. Obviously, this is a good, pretty good comeback, right? But <laughs> you're gonna see the power of the build really soon. Take his blue off CD whenever I can. Here I troll, I shouldn't have went for this. I wanted to try, I was limit testing the build, but she had heal. And that was pretty bad shutdown to give. But I believe that's my last death for the rest of the game. I'm not 100% sure, but. I'm pinging my blue. I'm obviously tilted. This guy picked blue, calling the jacks and said, I want to practice the counter matchup. Secure mid tower, hover. I know Victor. If he gets hover, we just win the game. Help my bot lane push it out in case Kha'Zix here, but it was at Rift instead. And here I'm just trying to farm out my PD. It's 900 gold, so I just see Raptors here and reset, I believe. Now the fun begins. We got our double core. Obviously, not, not having tab or merge shreds is kind of not the best, but. So, obviously, you want to get your E stacks as fast as possible. Your PD helps you get that if you're farming your camps for objective fight or during objective fights. So, watch this. <laughs> this is a good fight. I knew there was some, in one of these brushes. I get flashed on, I get ignited. So their whole team is on me, I'm like, I'm dead, there's no way I survive here, right? <laughs> they use everything on me. Yeah, you have to front line with this build, like, you have to. That was, like, pretty, I, obviously Lulu helped me a bit there, but, I mean, I'm full HP again. And you'll see next fight as well. I, I opted to go for Kindle Gem for uh, Cleaver, but again, you can go the other items I went over. Strax might be pretty good. Haven't tried that yet. IE if you're really ahead, but this came out the front line. Obviously, we don't have a tank because our Wukong fell pretty behind. Oh, here I just I just have my way with them, having fun front lining. Lulu helps again, but I mean, even if Lulu's not here. <laughs> I'm just walking into that melee range. Like, look at this heal, man. Ravenous, your Omni Vamp, your Shield Bow. I either keep my stacks on 8, because I know they can't kill me. I'm just sitting in front of their faces. They drop Rift, and the Rift is helping us more than them, because they can't do anything. All the way for the Ravenous Hunter heal. I got E again to keep my stacks. Yep. I just walk up and bait them again, because I know they can't kill me. <laughs> I mean... 
Unfortunately, CC is a counter to this build as well if you don't have Merch Shreds yet. But you can see the power of it, like how much I'm frontlining for Victor. He's just cleaning up fight after fight, using everything on me. And this is how you want to play the, the build. You want to frontline as much as possible. Get your E stacks in. If they're heavy AP, get some magic resistance from Hex Drink or Maw. If you have a lot of true damage or burst, their act's pretty good. If you have a frontline, I guess you can go for like IE, but I feel like this build is all set for you know, frontlining. Obviously, the PD stacks help you get your MS, or sorry, your your attack speed faster. So I'm just stacking my E. I think it's zero damage from Baron. And then this fight starts, and I've got 200 armor. So I know I can't die. I can just E into isolated Kha'Zix. Like, look at this. This is quite sad, no? A full lethality Kha'Zix can't even kill me to begin through Ignite and Isolation, and they just FF. So definitely give this build a shot. I'd say experiment with the third item. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Peace.